What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Fish for Bass Outdoors. Today I'll be showing you guys three ways that I like to fish these wintertime bass. But before you get started, I have to show you some things. So I got this cool uh neck protector right here. I like these when I fish. I also have they come in some cool designs. I'll leave the link uh in the description below. You can just get them on Amazon for they're really cheap. Got some cool camo. They also come with some cool designs like a skull. You know I got the solid black. This one's my favorite right here. That uh, says don't tread on freedom, and then I am wearing my my camo one. But let's get into the actual informational fishing. So for my first and probably my number one uh, most used and most successful successful. Uh, way I like to fish is the more finesse style baits like you have your creature baits here and you also you can use some stick baits like this this is a just a zoom and this is yum I think but what I'm really trying to say is finesse and slow moving baits are what you need to focus on this time of year like those bass don't want to work they're really finicky they really don't want to eat unless it's right in their face. So if you can drag this on a Texas rig, Carolina rig, drop shot even, drop, you can do this on a drop shot. You drag in front of their face and you can entice them to bite. And that's really where your bites are going to come in. Fishing tournaments, fishing ponds, fishing lakes are going to be finesse if you can't find the crankbait bite or the topwater bite. Probably not gonna have a top water bite this time of year, but we'll talk about that here and here in just a sec. Now, since I live down in here in Texas, the water temperature is like 60 degrees, and it's January. And I know, like up north, it, the water is frozen, but if you can find uh, free spots in your ponds, lakes, or whatever you're fishing, or you live in hot places like I do, where it's 80 degrees outside right now, you can get on this bite. So. Since there's not a lot of vegetation growing in the winter because it all dies off because it, for some reason, because it's cold outside. I pick up black spinner bait, any color spinner bait you can get. The white chartreuse colors, but black is the most all around color. It's an open water, top water bait, and it makes a lot of noise. And that's not what you want right now, but there's a few things you can do to make this a little bit silent. First of all, you can buy one without a clacker. And second of all, you can uh, take a pair of pliers, pliers and bend this up so it doesn't hit this bottom bar right here. And I have another buzz bait to show you here. Right here. So see, this buzz bait right here, it, free, it moves freely. See? Because I bent it up. So it doesn't hit this and make a lot of noise. And also in the summer, a good trick is to bend it down so it hits hits that bar makes more noise. So if you can get on the top water bait, you get this one. And if you get on that bite, hopefully your most of your bites might come on this if you fish it right. So that's number two on my list. And if you can get into, you know, other moving baits, I would get into spinner baits and uh, skinny side crankbaits, lipless crankbaits, and moderate dive, depth diving crankbaits. So if you can get one of these, move it really, really slow. I mean like super slow, near the bottom, throwing up that dirt, whatever's on the bottom, you probably will get a bite on a spinnerbait. And since they're not really active right now, if you put this in front of their face, move it slow, you will get that bite. And same with uh, these kind of crankbaits. You can get a skinny side crankbait just like that. That doesn't have a lot of moving. It doesn't have a lot of 
action to it like like this one right here because this is a KVD 1.5 I probably don't even have to mention this and if you don't know what this bait is quit fishing no nah, I'm just kidding so see real thick body that and that bill right there is gonna give it its action and it's gonna move like like crazy in the water while this one just has a smooth just wiggle to it and it's a lot more enticing to that bass to eat right now because it's not moving a whole lot, not making a whole lot of noise. And if you fish it right and you fish it slow, they will bite it. So just to sum things up, you have finesse, moving slow, finessing those fish and enticing them to bite on a slow moving object right in front of their face. Number two is a top water bite. Very, very lucky if you can get on a top water bite. I'm talking early in the morning and probably early in the morning because at night it gets kind of cold. So if you can get a, get on that in the morning, very, very lucky. Remember those tricks I taught you on the buzz baits. Number three is a crank bait and spinner bait bite. If you can get on that, that's wonderful because that's where all your big bass are going to be on pretty much this whole winter season. Either that or the the more finesse style like the stick baits and stuff. Just like, just like the buzz baits and finesse. You want to move... The, spin, the spinner baits and the crank baits slow in front of their face. Uh, and if they're on beds, move them over the bed slowly in front of their face so they can eat it. Because uh, right now, they're slow and they would rather eat something moving, you know, slower than something moving really fast and they have to go chase it. Okay, guys, this is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to go down like comment and subscribe because it really really helps me making these videos don't and don't forget to check the description below and get you some of these because they're really cheap on amazon so check the description get some of those and if i reach 50 subscribers i will give away these i'll buy some new ones and i'll put some baits in there so this is it for this video see you next time